Hi guys, Mrs. Hannah here, all my K through two buddies. Um, and I'm here to give you the drawing tutorial on how to trace a shoe and turn it into something. So I'm super excited to see you guys' work from this because I love how you all are so creative. Um, so if you want to, you can post a pic onto the comments um, on the video here. Or if you don't wanna do that, um, tell your parent to email me if they have access to do that. And um, I will get them set up with a Google Classroom because I started one up with you guys, okay? All right, so to start things off, I have my piece of paper here. You could have it this way or this way. It doesn't matter whichever way your shoe will fit. And the first thing that you're gonna do is, as always, put your name on it. And don't really need your class ID for this, but I just wanna see who's doing what. And then you're gonna take a shoe. I would pick one that has not been out in the mud or the rain, I pick my daughter's shoe. You could pick your parent's shoe, you could pick a sibling's shoe, your brother or sister, um, but just preferably something that's not too dirty. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold that shoe and trace around it. And tracing around it doesn't have to be perfect, just do the best you can, okay? So from here, I'm gonna look at this and I'm gonna look at this kind of shape and brainstorm, think of what do I think that this looks like? And I thought originally that it looked like an owl. So I'm gonna take and I'm gonna show you how to turn yours in from something like that to something like this. So just think simple shapes. So for the eyes, I just picked a smaller set of circles and then tinier circles on the insides for the reflection and then bigger circles on the outside. And I had them looking up and then we need a beak. We can't forget the owl's beak. And then I like the eyebrows of the owl, the wise old owl. And then they have like a little, I always call it like a face mask, but I'm not too sure what it is, but it's like the plumage that's kind of on their face a little bit there. And then they have different feathers, color feathers on their underbelly. And then we gotta give them wings. So I gave them these wings, and it's okay if they don't both look the same. Maybe he's stretching on the one side. And then I started to think about, well, where do owls sit at? What do they do? And they usually are up in trees, and they usually only come out at night. They're pretty um, cool to hear, though, unless you have a screech owl. We have some around my house, and it's always interesting to hear them. put a branch here for him to perch on. And I can erase out some of this here. This is done just on computer paper. So you could do it on line paper, whatever you have to sketch on. My kids earlier this week were sketching on cardboard and making cardboard sculptures and just having fun. I'm gonna draw some oval shapes for their feet their talons. And then they're usually up in the sky. So I'm gonna also put some clouds in there. Your clouds could look like this or they could be a little bit more like this. And if you wanted to put the sun up there, you could maybe the moon, totally up to you. Um, and this, this is it. There you have your owl. You can go ahead and outline it with a marker and color it in if you have access to those kinds of things. 